M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. So I've seen some more reviews that are basically slating the GD88 or Kydera 880. I've had this for several months now. And I understand why those re reviews are being made because when you use the Anytone 878 style radio, all the bugs have been fixed. The main complaints about the radio, really, the number one complaint is the volume. So if we look at the volume here, if someone's talking now, just turn it up a tad and you'll hear someone talking. I've got it quite low. And it, the thing about it being dual receivers, if you say you turn it up now, there's, there's a slight lag on it before it kicks in. And then if you want to turn the volume up, at the top half, you've got control here and you have to move it up one by pushing this button. Control goes up and we can now control the volume. And the main problem is you just can't quite get it as low as you'd like it. And you get that with a lot of budget DMR radios, to be honest. The good thing about the Anytone is they've added a setting, which is what the GD88 needs. Watch menu, go down to settings, radio set, first one. Then you go to volume, where is it? max volume and they've got these max volumes and one of them is even called indoors and that's basically what the the gd88 needs the other thing is that the menu structure is you know it takes a bit of getting used to because if you push menu you've got this tiled structure and to go right and left you actually go up and down so that can be confusing but the solution to that is just read what it says at the top so it says scan there and the number well, that's, that's how i do so let's say you go down to number one one of 12 selections, so we're on contacts. Number two, message, three, call log, and so on. Zone channels. Once you start to do it that way, you know where you are and you start to realize what you're in. Obviously, the titles of each thing is similar to what you're used to, but it's not exactly the same, so you have to get used to it because it, it is a different radio. That's the one thing you've got to remember. The main thing is that it's definitely not an Anytone 878 or an MD380. As soon as you think it is, then you're not going to be happy with this radio. So why why even buy this radio? Well, the number one thing is that you get dual digital receive. It's like having two radios. So I can I can listen to uh, my hub net node on the A band or a, or another hotspot. It doesn't have to be analog. And on the B band, I can also do the same thing. So we can have twin uh, CSV contacts. Take your talker alias details here on the bottom at the same time on different hotspots. No other radio I know does that. Regarding the APRS, I'll show you, I'll, I'll TX to this radio. Now, I'm not sure what you class as APRS message. There is a box section in the code plug, and I definitely recommend you use the MM7DBT code plug. It's so much easier to use um, where you can add an APRS message. I'll show you that. So just download MM7DBT, and it's such so much easier to use this code plug than the standard one you'd get from Radiodity. And if we click on, see all these different tabs, there's so many, but the main one you're gonna use is the zones and channels. Look, when you create a zone, you can see the channels in the, in, in the zone at the same time. That's really makes it a lot easier. And then even contacts, if you're adding DMR contact numbers, you just click contacts, it's a lot easier. And button settings, so much easier. But anyway, APRS settings, freeze frame that if you want to copy mine. But look, at the bottom here where my finger is, you've got the ability to type an APRS message. And mine says, M Andreas YouTube, M0FXB, how are you doing GD88 to FT5? Now look at this. So we're on digital, uh, sorry, analog APRS now. We're on the A band going to the FT5. So make sure to select the A band, you have to push control. Because it's two, remember it's two radios. Even when you do firmware, it's two lots of firmware. So control and PTT, PTT is moving up and down so if we push the ptt on the aprs frequency like so right and it's come through here let's just zoom into what we're seeing so the tx aprs works fine receive is i can't find a method of receive although they, there is this function which i'm going to do a separate video on called gps messaging so i've got a feeling you can send a, G, a gps message over um over the GPS via your hotspot. I'm gonna test this in a completely separate video because I've only read about it, I've never done it. So, let's have a look what we just received. So you go on an FT5, once you've received it, the pop-up vanishes, just go F menu and go to uh, 
station list. It's not a message list, it's just an APRS location uh, received. So push F menu, and straight away it's got my location, all that's fine. And if I turn the key down, look, comment text. And this is what I wrote on the GD88. Andreas, YouTube, M0FXB, how are you? GD88. So you can message people. Um, I'm not sure if that's the traditional way of what people would class as a message. Um, um, but what I do know is the same message, if you're in digital mode, DMR mode, will appear on APRS FI. So it does, it can transmit messages, and I've, I've done this. So anyway, back to just the basics of the Kydera. So why are we, why are we going to buy it? Well, it's two radios in one. It's under £200, you get two radios. So I can go anywhere in the house with this radio and listen to two of my favourite channels, which to me, which what other radio will, will do that in this price level? I got this for 195 delivered brand new. This is Kydera 880. The FT5D would do that. Uh, it won't do simultaneous digital audio, but it, it will do it, but it was £400. The, the Icon 52 will do twin digital receive, very nice radio. £550. Uh, I mean, the, the thing about the 878 is that it, they have ironed out all the bugs. For what they cost, uh, you everything just works. Someone can send you a code plug, you can put your hotspot in and it, and, yeah, and you know, add a couple of your favourite channels. And, and you're, you're going to love that radio, but it is single receive. It's one radio. That's the key thing here. Um, also, the just the design. For me, the design and the look of the GD88 is far nicer than the Anytone, although the Anytone is quite nice, I prefer the GD88. So the main thing is you're not buying the GD88 because it's like any other radio. You're buying it as a unique radio that stands on its own. Yes, there are bugs, and will they ever iron out those bugs? Maybe not, maybe not. But when you've got it, once you've learned how to, because the volume, getting that volume just quite as low as you would like is annoying when you're in a, say you're sat next to your wife watching the telly, but generally the volume is, is fine if you're just walking around the house, taking the dog for a walk, going out in the car, all that kind of stuff. The volume, there's no problem at all. But it, but yes, sat next, sat at home, it, it, it can be annoying. What I do is, fa is lay it face down. That's, that's basically what I do. Okay, well that's it really. So in summary, I recommend new users should always go for the 878. Fantastic radio DMR, but it's a single receive. If you're a bit more advanced and you really like to tinker, because there is this cross repeat thing, and if you, I mean, the settings can be quite complicated to get that to work correctly, because it can actually cross repeat to itself. I would never use cross repeat, it doesn't appeal to me, but I think how some people would like to buy this radio because it cross repeats. Um, so you're going to really need to learn the cross repeat functions. Um, and, and then work out well, what would I use them for um, and you can use it like a little mini repeater but then chances are you're going to be breaking your license conditions anyway so what's the unless you've got uh, in the UK an NOV so it's not something I'd ever use um, it's a great fun radio if you like I mean many of us have several I've got four or five DMR radios and I like each one of them for a different reason would I get rid of my DMR because it's not the same as my 878 of course I wouldn't it's a completely completely different radio uh, but it does have talker alias it does have promiscuous mode it can aprs tx it's two radios in one it's got a nice looking screen and if you want a nice loud radio it's nice and loud the battery is just okay for a high functioning radio it's not an 878 battery but it's okay and it, the charger is very nice because you can you can actually buy a separate battery and charge it in the cradle with the radio. So you can basically charge two batteries at the same time. Uh, that's a very nice thing. And you can get these in the UK, the Kydera model, for, um, very easily. So bye for now. Uh, let me know. I, I really would appreciate your comments. Is that is, um, um, you know, and what you think about this radio and whether it, because of them, these are drawbacks that we talked about. Is it not even worth buying? So 7.3, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on out. All the best.